What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can tell, I'm probably revamping my channel. I've deleted a bunch of my very first videos and I'm trying to put up some better content, still playing with the editing and whatnot. And I uh, just really didn't like how they turned out. So I'm gonna try to put out some other stuff, but today I just kind of want to make a quick video. Kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff that I use to detail my car with. Uh, obviously, if you've got a nice car, I think my car is a nice car. Uh, you want to take care of it and you want to try to use the right stuff and you know there were some things that I was doing uh, when I washed my car uh, that was that I always thought was right that was actually wrong uh, and actually put a lot of scratches on my car and stuff like that so uh, you know I bought a buffer had to watch a lot of stuff on paint correction uh, what supplies to get what pads buffing pads to get how to do all that stuff and so I've recently done all of that, but I kind of just wanted to talk about my basic car washing setup, what I do now to maintain it now that I've gotten my car back looking good. So if your car is not scratched up, you know, or have, you know, like if you, if you look at it in the sunlight and you can see a lot of fine scratches, uh, I'll talk about that and what that is and what causes that. If your car is not there yet, then hopefully this video will kind of help you out moving forward to maybe not let it get to that point so you don't have to go through what I had to go through to fix it uh, although it is a good it is a good thing probably once a year uh, you know to, to to buff your car uh, you know to just kind of strip it down and you know add some protection back to the paint and the clear coat so that it'll last longer so that's probably a good idea I would say once a year just give it a full-on uh, detail where you clay bar it on all of that stuff take it all the way down, uh, you know, do a, you know, scratch and swirl remover, which is what I used. I'll go over all that stuff probably in a separate video and I'll show you my setup, what I used, and kind of walk you through the process of how I did it. But today I'm gonna show you my, you know, I wash my car uh, at least once a week. If I can't get it once a week, I get it once every two weeks, uh, you know, but I don't drive my car a lot during the week because my wife and I carpool. So uh, my car doesn't get driven a lot, but usually like the days that I have to drive my car, uh, it, it's, it's rained outside so my car's dirty and whatnot. So usually I wash it once a week or once every two weeks, just kind of depending on how much I've had to drive it. Uh, I do like to drive it on the weekends and stuff. We get it out and drive it around and stuff like that. So today I'm gonna just kind of show you my setup for my basic car washing. Let's get to it. All right, so here we go. This is my basic, this is just what I'm doing if I'm just, washing my car off to get it clean uh, or anything like that this is my basic setup. these are the things that i use so you can notice i have two buckets here i do use what they refer to as the two bucket wash method um, i tried to do the touchless car wash thing but i really just don't have all the pieces to make that work and really let's just be honest sometimes a touchless is just not good enough sometimes you just need to get a good clean mitt and uh you know and just put a mitt to it but i do things uh to help mitigate scratching and stuff like that so uh the soap that i use is from a company called clarity one and it's called sano suds uh, obviously it's fecal wash shampoo uh this i actually found out about this from another youtube channel a guy named uh, Matt, I believe is his name, he has Lethal Garage. Uh, if you have searched it out, you can YouTube, or you can go, uh, type in the YouTube bar, Lethal Garage or Lethal Camaro. His channel will pop up and he actually done a review on this and that is actually why I bought it was because of his review on it. This stuff is awesome. It is very uh, concentrated. You can actually see it there, it's high, high concentrated uh, level. So very very concentrated this stuff works very very well uh, i have really liked it and i've actually you know that's about how much is in there and i've there's no telling how many times i've washed my car uh, so it, it works very very well uh, the other thing i use is a product by a company called pns which is called brake buster very similar qualities if you ask me to purple power the only difference is uh, i believe that this is not as harsh as purple power is on some wheels and stuff like this so this this won't uh this won't damage your wheels because it actually says you can see where it says safe and effective non-acid wheel cleaner so it doesn't have any kind of acid or anything like that in it this product has also worked out very well now if i am uh 
in between waxes or something like that, I will use uh, this other product that's also by PNS, and it's called the Double Black. It's just most people just refer to it as Bead Maker, but Double Black Rennie Doyle Collection. This is the Bead Maker Print Protectant, and this is almost like a spray on wax. Uh, so you spray it on pretty heavy, obviously, until it beads up, and then you wipe it off. So it's just kind of like a spray wax uh, almost. Uh, I'll say this it, it works and it lasts longer than most spray waxes I've ever used. Most of the time, you know, about a week or so. <laughs> I was on a spray wax, it's it's kind of run its course. This, uh, this I've used it before, and and I've went as long as three, almost four weeks before uh, before having to do anything again. So it actually works really, really well, as you can tell. I use it; it's half empty, uh, so I use it pretty regularly on my car and my wife's car. So that's a product that I would recommend as well. Um, I also use a pressure washer. I just have a Troy built. Uh, 3000 PSI, it's max PSI. On the, it actually tells you down here on the uh, PSI range. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, yeah, my lighting's not very good. But basically, with the tip that I use, it's about 2600 uh, PSI. So obviously, that helps in the washing of your car and getting dirt and stuff like that off, which you don't want to get too close to it because you could actually blow the paint off. Especially if you got like a chip or something, you could accidentally blow the paint off. So I have two buckets. I have two mitts. Uh, now these buckets right here, these are actual chemical guy buckets, but you can just get regular buckets from the hardware store or anything like that. They have the dirt trap inserts in them. As you can see here, if I can get it out of the bottom of the bucket. Let me just flip it over. So as you can see, they got the dirt trap inserts. And so what you do is when you put your mitt, this sits in the bottom like that. And when you put your mitt in it, you just kind of put it in and rub it across it. And it gets all the dirt out of these little fingers on these mitts. So to get all the dirt out of there, and basically what it does, it's got these little tiny holes on the bottom, so the dirt essentially would go underneath this and it would keep the dirt from coming back up through it and getting into your wash water or anything like that. Now, this mitt, I use one mitt for washing my wheels, strictly wheels, nothing else. And the other mitt I use strictly for washing the car. And so my one bucket is, and this is always, they're color coded just to, you know, keep up with. Uh, but my blue bucket I always use for my, I pour a little bit of soap in here. So this is my soap bucket. And then this one just has water in it. So that way, you know, I put my mitt in here, get some soap on it, you know, wash a certain part of the car, come back into the rinse bucket, you know, put it down in there, make sure I get all the dirt and stuff out of the mitt, and then come back to my, you know, wash bucket and go back to the car. Uh, I do the same thing when I wash my wheels, uh, same kind of thing, you know, which I spray the brake buster on there and then I'll just put some water in there and then I'll just go, you know, I'll just put the mitt in the rinse bucket and I'll just go wash the wheels that way. Uh, so yeah, and so another, another tool that I use is a foam cannon. Uh, if you don't have one of these, this really is probably one of the best investments I've ever made as far as washing my car. I bought this thing off of Amazon for like $14, I believe, and it is amazing. It's the best thing to use, especially if you got a pressure washer, best thing to use uh, for foaming your car, you know, making sure you get a good layer of soap on it. Uh, so that way, you know, it's, it, it's going to work better if you got more soap. You won't have to worry about scratching as, as much. Uh, one of the key things that I will tell you that I used to do was when I washed my car, I always washed in circles. You know, I always, when I would do my car, I would always do it in circles because that was what I was always taught, washing in circles uh, to make sure you get everything. Uh, that is the worst thing you could ever do. It is, and the reason I say that, or from, from what I found in my research is that the reason that's bad is because it is harder to remove a circular scratch than it is a straight scratch. So if 
you're gonna put a scratch in your car by washing it, which that's where most of, if you ever notice small scratches in your paint, they come from improper washing. And that is the reason we have these dirt catchers here is to keep the dirt up underneath that so that when you go to put your mitt back in there, you don't pick that dirt back up and then put it on your car. And that's in essence, what you're doing is you're just washing your car with a bunch of dirt trapped in that and it's, uh, and it's scratching your paint. So that's the reason I have two dirt traps is to, is to do the best I can to keep that from happening. Also, don't wash your car in a circle. Wash in straight lines so that if you do have to buff it, it'll be easier to do. So that's one little tip that I'll throw out there that I have learned. And since I've been doing that, fingers crossed, I have not had any more scratches on my car like that. So lastly, the last piece that I use, and you'll see it sitting here, it's just this little cheap blower that I went and bought from Lowe's. It's just a Black & Decker blower. It was like 20 bucks. And I bought that to blow dry my car. The reason being is, is that I'm, I try to not touch my car as much as I can. I already have to touch it once with the mitt. So I, I don't want to touch it much more than I have to. So I will blow it off and then I will get me a, a soft, let me just step over here. I have a bucket that I keep, uh, you know, good rags in, stuff like that. So I will take this soft microfiber. I mean, this thing's really, really soft. I paid good money for this one because I wanted a really good one. And, uh, and what I'll do is, is any areas that I might've missed or might still have a little standing water on them, I'll use that to get it up. But I don't want to rent, I don't want to dry the whole car with it. I want to try to get as much off by blowing it off. And I will say this, if you wash and you or if you wash and you wax your car regularly like i just recently uh every once in a while what i'll do is i'll get my buffer out and i'll actually put a good coat of wax on my car and if you do that when you put this blower on it, it the water will blow right off most of the time i'll just go around and, and just very few spots will i have to touch it with this towel so the reason i do that is to try to keep from touching my car that much to keep the chances of getting scratches down to a very very minimum so anyway so that's my that's my setup these are some of the products that i use uh, to keep my car clean with and to maintain it uh, i'll come back and do another video because we're getting on up there in time so i'll come back and do another video and i will show you some of the other products i use as far as my wax uh you know my polish uh, my buffer the buffer i use the pads that i used when i buffed my car and kind of walk through that and talk about some of that as well but i just kind of wanted to make a quick video share some of this with you also share some of the uh information about uh where scratches come from a lot of times when you wash your car most of the time you're the one scratching your car if you don't wash your car properly or you don't use techniques uh to minimize uh picking up dirt if if i could encourage you to do anything it would be to get two buckets get two tr dirt traps have one wash bucket and one rinse bucket and make sure that you're doing that and uh you know also make sure you know you get like a a uh, a foam cannon or something like that to make sure you get a good thick layer of soap on the car and that's going to help minimize scratching as well there you go guys that's it that's my stuff that's my little rundown on my car washing stuff um, i'm gonna put up some more videos here soon i'm gonna go back and do another video introducing my car i'm gonna try to get some better lighting some better audio i actually got some good tips i uh, reached out to a couple people that are on youtube that have bigger channels and uh, they actually gave me some pretty good tips and some stuff that I'm gonna use because I use the GoPro Hero 5 and so one of the tips was to use an external microphone because it helps with the audio and uh, I really didn't like the audio and some of the, it sounds kind of muffled. Uh, this one may still sound that way, uh, but I, I kind of want to make sure I'm, I continue to put up content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are using any other products that you think are awesome, uh, and you would like to let me know about it or you'd like to let you know other people know about it leave them in the comment section below if this is your first time to the channel make sure you go ahead and click subscribe click the bell so you can get notifications when new content's uploaded hope you guys enjoyed it we'll catch you next time